welcome to Sunday. Joe's working. Morning, Joe. Pokey morning. Oh yeah, thank you, Pokemon, for inviting me. Full disclosure, thank you, Pokemon, for inviting me to EUIC. It is finals day, and we are waiting. We've gone through security. We're waiting in um, Paldea to go through. I have heard there is Pikachu yoga this morning, so I want to check that out before we get the seats um, for watching the finals. So it's very, very exciting. So I'm very intrigued at what Pikachu yoga is, and because of that, I figured I'd wear my ears again because they get a lot of compliments. I mean, it's eight o'clock, I've already been complimented on them, so figured. Ah, I'll wear them again because where else am I going to wear them if not places like this, right? So, let's go do some yoga with Pikachu. I'm here, back in this area. There's no one at the party games, unfortunately, so I won't be doing that yet. But I'm waiting for Pikachu to arrive because we do have yoga. Hopefully that was in shot. I can't see the viewfinder. So yeah, I'm just waiting. Joe went down the middle of the room with his phone for a TikTok clip. So he's gonna join me and hopefully in about 10 minutes, Pikachu will come out and we can uh, have some stretches to wake us up on this exciting Sunday morning. Never thought I'd be doing yoga with Pikachu, but um, I'm looking forward to it. And breathe out. The first Pokemon we're transforming in is Eevee. Eevee's a very polite foxy Pokemon. Level one, the easiest level. We're gonna put our hands in front of us. All right, breathe with me. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and breathe out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. <laughs> Level two, we're gonna lower ourselves if we're able to. Don't touch the ground yet with your hands. All right, are you ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. Level three, just like Evie, we're putting our paws between your other paws. All right, are you ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out all right carefully get up okay so that wasn't that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't what i was expecting um pikachu couldn't make it pikachu is in the staff photo so bit of a scheduling conflict with pikachu but that was not what i was expecting and my arms hurt <laughs> And I'm embarrassed because everyone saw that I couldn't do a tree pose. <laughs> and I don't know how much Joe got on the camera. Cool, right. So let's go find our seats for some finals. Yay! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, just me then. Welcome to the European. International Championships. Trainers from across the globe are coming together, catching up, trading their price cards, leveling up Sounds the like and diving into that exhilarating is. side events. I but know. let's not forget the main
Pokemon trainers, fans and communities who are tuned in from all around the world today. We will be crowning seven different international champions today across three Pokemon titles. Pokemon Go, the Pokemon trading card game, and the Pokemon video game. If you were tuned in last night, we crowned the international champion in Pokemon Unite. Team Fusion walked away with the title of European International Champions, so a huge congratulations to them. And our next international champion will be in Pokemon Go, as the winner's bracket final is up next, followed by the loser's bracket final, and finally, concluding with the championship match. The first match will be the winner's bracket final, with M.E. Weedle and his formidable Skeledurge up against Sandudu and his gargantuan Guzzlord. What a perfect way to start Championship Sunday. Casters, over to you. Championship Sunday here at the European International Championships 2024 in London. Martin and me, we have the honor of to cast two of the three matches here. It is going to be an absolute blessing. We have so many amazing trainers. What am I saying? So many? We have three left remaining from so many players that were attending the tournament. I am so excited, Leo. We have trainers that built through day one yep. and day two at the Europe International Championship. It's going to be so exciting. Yeah, but let's look at all the way that the trainers have been going and will be through this season. Yeah. In November, we have the Latin America International Championship. We are currently at the Europe International Championship. And then in two months, we will have the North American Championship. Look what I just did to these cards. They're ruined. Oh, they're ruined with my name. That hurt as a collector. That's what you wanted. So. Amy was too dumb for him, and Amy Weedle is about to clean up this game. And he did a phenomenal job of reading that if Annihilate is out on the lead of the
We have got the Pokemon trading game with three different age divisions. Two players each, all vying for a chance to be the number one player. Let's kick it off with the juniors. Freya and Ethan, over to you. So the lovely Tom was helping me out being Carol. Hi Joe, Joe ran down the front. But, no, no, no. So, I'm a six foot man, I'm tall, so I took this tripod, I thought I'd help film the Pokemon Go thing for my lovely friend Martin. I just had a fight with the camera. Yeah, <laughs> so when you see the camera moving, um, we're, we're trying not to get in the way of that. Obviously that has priority, um, but we're... Uh, oh, Pikachu, where are you going? Pikachu's still on stage. Bye, Pikachu. But, um, yeah, so I thought I had a good view, but then when the crowds go down, <laughs> It's really hard to uh, fight with that, so um, yeah, as long as we get a good view of the trophies, it's all good. So that's what we want to see. We want to see people get their trophies. So it looks like we're waiting a little bit for TCG Juniors to start now. So this is new. We got um, Chip out on the floor into friends and family. It's going to be an excellent one. We'll let you both get seated, get ready, and cheer everyone on. And let's get into our EUIC Masters Division final match. One thing that being prized is not ideal, depends on how many you play. It's good to get into board back, you'll pick it up early, it's not too bad. Don't like the amount of prize for Tord in some matchup, but in this matchup, it'll be fine. Oh, bonus points for our Oh, bonus points for our going for his fifth year, uh, fifth international championship. So he's not actually won one yet, he's been one of the top players for a while at this stage. So, you know, he needs to get up and beat on that level. He also has a Celebi, so I want to to win every time. Good input there, Joe. Nice to know I'm going to carry the whole thing. Shuffins up against that Charmander. Decent yeah, start the tour, he needs to get Charmander, he needs to get a couple of them in play. He's not got much going turn one. We're going to... Oh, that is not ideal. But the good news is Tor's deck does not really punish this. He's not going to have much of an option, kind of, getting that KO turn one going second. He really is looking for a setup turn from Pidgey to Charmander. So he's unlikely to be donking the shot bit, but he could end up getting really far ahead. It's as good as going first, essentially. Isaiah didn't even get a Giratina V down. No cards in the lost zone, so this was great. And all I can say is that's the pretty Charmander card from the UCB. It is a pretty Charmander card from the We got that before Japan, although it is now out in Japan. With a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle that we have not gotten. Did I say that? I meant to. Yeah. Oh, standard Arvin turn one. You go and get the Buddy Buddy pop in, that will get you two of your evolving basics, your Pidgey and your Charmander. And then your Forest Seal Stone, which goes on the Luminion, and then next turn you can have any card you like. So it'll help you set up beautifully. Just gives a quick search ability nice and early as an option, or if it's not necessarily needed to begin with, maybe grab it a bit. The problem with playing with Bling is not good for the stream, really. <laughs> I mean, because that, right now, the lights so, yeah. on it just kind of make it a bit much. Attach this watching tool set up pretty much perfectly here. We'll just be thinking. Joe, you have very little input. And the deck needs to have 60 cards in it. Oh, we see the art behind the CK art. The clever comes down. The clever's an interesting one. You never got that one. That was the joke of it. Was early attacks off his primary. The clever. No, we can't. Early fast. It's going to have to be a bit. It wasn't me. 
set up. Pleffer's a weird one. Pleffer, it, it's good for, it's zero energy. You're going to get a bunch of cards. It's going to have to set up. It's going to give up a prize. But the thing is, Charizard kind of likes giving up prizes. You do extra damage. You activate counter catcher. You make Iron O a little bit more powerful. And this is actually almost a perfect turn one for Tor. You've got Pleffer in the active with the free attack. You've got two Charmander and you've got your Pidgey. You've got your Forest Seal Stone already established on your Luminium. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that Defiance Bounce on the Clefbell was um, not good. But you draw, I believe it's drawing through your six cards in your hand. Can you attack me? On a drawing two, you got seven, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can attack. Uh, you can attack. There's, there's nothing else. They're just terribly weak Pokemon with three attacks. But what he was doing there was just emptying out his hand a little bit, dropping three cards to make sure that he could then draw into your seven in your hand. And that's going to give him a big hand, lots of cards to play with, with the Forest Seal Stone ready to go. So if he's missing one card next turn, he can guarantee to get it. And that is a terrible hand. The hand sucks. Yeah, my rate is not big.
Next up is Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Championship matches in all age editions are coming up next. Trophies given. Hello, trainers. I'm going to find out, hopefully, when Worlds is going to be. Oh, look, no help for that.
World Championships will have over two million dollars in prizing across Ooh, the world. Money. And of course, we'll be broadcasting worlds on the same channels that you're watching now. So make sure to follow the channel.